Greetings and salutations, Conrad Weiser. I want to talk for a moment about the auto pass set up in E Hall Pass. When E Hall Pass was rolled out, it was decided that certain locations, typically where there's not a human at the other end of the interaction, would be set up as auto passes. As a teacher, you can decide if the student has the ability to start and stop that pass in your classroom, or if they can just start it and you stop it. That's all underneath your settings. So let's take a look at where you do that. So I'm already signed in to eHall Pass, and I'm going to go over here to the right-hand side where it says Auto Passes, and you'll see it says 12 out of 12, and I'm going to click this little Edit button. Now, I have 12 of 12 selected because we have 12 options for people to go to places. So I'm going to delete these two here. I'm going to submit it. And now you'll notice that it says 10 out of 12. Okay, so I deleted because I, I want to be able to control that. I don't really want to be able to control if, if I have to approve kids going to a water fountain or not. So I'm going to press that pen. And I'm going to click this little arrow over here. And I'm going to find at the bottom the lockers. And then I'm going to go down here, find the water fountain. Anything that's grayed out, you've already selected. Now I've added them in. And I have them here underneath Start and Stop by the student. And I'm going to go ahead and press Submit. Now, on the student side of things, let's take a look at what that looks like. If I want to depart from a location, I would like to go to a get a drink or go to the bathroom. So if I type in bathroom, I'm going to choose this bathroom here. If I press Submit, this screen appears. Now, it seems, and if you look at your screen, it'll say that they're waiting for approval. But you'll notice that on the student side, they can just press that green button. And then they start. They should raise their hand and ask if you will let them go to the bathroom. And then when they return, they can press that stop button. And that's it. You don't have to approve it. It all's on them to start and stop the pass. You just have to give the verbal acknowledgement that you do indeed give them permission to leave your room and go to the potty. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.